What we're doing here, we're doing a radial rip around the trees with a yeoman feline flower. So as the roots radiate out, we're sort of going with the roots to do minimal damage. And we're only going down maximum probably 100 mil. It's just enough to allow the water to penetrate the soil. As you'll see later on in the video that when we put the water on this really hard pan, it just runs off. So we need to be able to get all the water to go into the ground as we rip. So we radial rip around the tree, and then the next step will be um, putting a layer of compost down. The biggest limiting factor for trees and most plants is compaction. And compaction is an, happens over time, whether it's grazing, heavy rain, people walking, all sorts of traffic. And the thing is, in a natural forest, we would have leaf litter, we would have mulch, we would have multi-species of things, we'd have animals going through, digging and disturbing the soil. But in, these, in this modern, in the city's type scape, we don't have that. And so it's so important to get rid of the compaction because what compaction is, it's an anaerobic system. So there's no oxygen. And so without any oxygen, the root systems can't push through because they have a symbiotic relationship with fungi, mycorrhizal. And mycorrhiza breathes in oxygen breathes out carbon dioxide. So when you have heavy compaction, mycorrhiza can't survive. And so this is, the, this is the thing that people don't really sort of understand is this mycorrhizal and the tree symbiotic relationship. And compaction is one of the most limiting factors to growing any sort of plant. Right, what we do once we've ripped it, we like to put a layer of really microbially rich compost. And not anyone can make this compost. And we're lucky here in Canberra that we have a lady called Simone Delcara that makes one of the best compost I can I know of. And so your compost is full of all your beneficial microbes, bacteria, fungi, everything. It's a living thing. And the thing is with compost, You've got to cover it or dig it into the soil. You can't leave it open to the sunlight for any length of time because the microbes don't like sunlight, it kills them. So we put this layer on and then we'll water it and wash it all through so all the microbes get washed into the root systems. And then we'll cover this with a heavy layer of mulch and um, yeah, completes the system. What we have here when we water the soils, you'll find most of our soils now becoming hydrophobic. And that's because all our carbon is leaving our landscape. And so when you have a bare soil, you're burning off carbon. And so the more carbon that goes, the more hydrophobic the soils will. So it actually repels water. And, um, and so what we need to do here is not only the ripping where the water can soak in, but then we cover this with a mulch, with a carbon layer, basically. And so the water can then circulate, percolate, and move down through the soil layers. But um, hydrophobic soils are caused by the, the loss of carbon in our soils. The other problem with in cityscaping is we put trees in a monocultural system. 
No trees in the natural world grow monoculturally. They always have support, support species, pioneer species that interact with the main tree. So in a system where you have these compressors, you know, there's, there's, there's no other plants contributing to their health. So the ideal thing here would be defining having some support species planted in amongst these. And you could mainly leguminous type plants, even small brushy wattles would help this forest heaps. But um, yeah, it's, 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 it's not a natural thing just to have grass growing straight up the trees, no mulch. Um, yeah, we need to rethink the way we plant trees in the cityscape.